Now, he came to Moscow back in 1995 on an acting contract, but the opportunities he found when he got here took him by surprise. Fourteen years on, Chris Carl is still here, an English expert who's making his impact on Russia's theatre establishment, and Primetime went to meet him. Hi, my name's Chris Carl. I'm English and I'm an actor, not necessarily in that order. Been living in Moscow now for 14 years. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of what happens behind the scenes before a theatrical show. So come with me. Myself and my fellow actors, my friends, uh, we formed Anglo-Russian Theatre and now we put on uh, theatrical performances so that's kept me here because it's you know pretty exciting but initially yeah two years i came for two short years and that was 14 years ago i want to be here now wait wait a minute groovy groovy jazzy funky bounce bounce dance as we here we are um day of the performance um preparing for this evening's show it's a long long day a lot of frayed nerves a lot of tension, um, just setting up the stage, the set, dressing the table as we call it. And uh, the stewardess came round to give boarding cards, you know, landing cards. And I said, what's this for? She said, well, you have to hand it in when you leave the country. And I went, I'm not going back. I'm staying in Moscow. And she looked at me like I was mad. Because in 1995, things were a bit different then, I guess. Round about the place, you'll see actors warming up, doing their warming exercises, vocal exercises. It's a very long day for them, very long day for all us actors and stage managers and directors. The directors somewhere up there fretting and getting nervous. Musicians are warming up. The film industry here is a lot more open to, to using foreigners as well and using people they don't know. And um, I've, I've been in some very interesting films here, and I, I would have never had that opportunity in England. South of City, I think. The city, it's called it's called it's Yeah, you need to obtain. Да, вам нужно получить грузинскую визу и лететь в Тбилиси. Ваши родители в курсе, что вы едете. Нужны их письменные разрешения. Это я так. And then I went to my bank. I said, look, I'm going to Russia for a couple of years. Here is the contract. This is how much money I'll be earning. Can you give me a loan of a couple of thousand pounds? They went, well, we don't lend money to people who go to Moscow. And I said, why not? I said, well. Two years ago, one of our clients was shot in St. Petersburg. Last week, another one of our clients was shot on the streets of Moscow. So we really don't want to take the risk of lending you the money. But good luck. <laughs> Evening, guys. Hi. Ready for your class? There's so many theatres in Moscow that you can go and see Chaika or Chaika or Chaika or Chaika, maybe. Um, and there seems to be a lot of that sticking in the old, the old stream. But they, I think that's changing. No, who's in charge? Ah, who's in charge here? Yeah. Ah, okay. My mother walked into her bedroom and she found me posing in front of her long mirror, wearing one of her hats with her, one of her scarves and I was wearing her high heel shoes. And she looked at me and I, and I thought at that moment, and I was only five, and for the rest of my life I thought, I'd better say it's because I want to be an actor. Because if she thinks it's something else, it will upset her. It's modern science, I suppose what you'd call it, a method of not a science. It's also a therapy. Marie, have you finished? Uh, yes, sir, I've just got, I found the plate I was looking for. Well, you've got to hurry up and, and get back to the kick. Yes, I'm just going. I beg your pardon, sir. If enough people to come to our, our plays, our productions, I'll save some money and buy a villa in Spain. <laughs> Or maybe just two more years in Moscow. Well, that's the end of a, another show for Anglo-Russian theatre. We're all very tired, going home to get some rest and learn a Heinz for the next production. But in the meantime, Chris Carl saying thank you, good night. Now, everything from now on that I'm going to do and that would look weird, I'm going to tell people, it's because I want to be an actress. You should have been an actress, I think. You've got that outgoing, no, over, no, over, no. over the, over I'm, the top. I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible actress. It's a disaster. You don't want